In the first video of this two-part series, we talked about the importance of bleeding air from a vehicle's brake system on a regular basis, and we discussed some of the basic procedures involved in this process. Delving a bit deeper into the subject, let's talk about the master cylinder. Brake master cylinders must be bench bled prior to installing them. Most master cylinders come with a kit of hoses and fittings to connect to the outlet ports. The hoses are then run back to the filled reservoir. With the master cylinder secured in a vise, you can access the piston and use a tool to push it in to fully depress it, which forces the air out and up into the reservoir. There are many reasons to do this. For one, many master cylinders are mounted at angles that can trap air and make bleeding on the car extremely difficult. Secured level in a vise eliminates this problem. It's also much quicker. Usually it only takes 5 to 10 short strokes to get the air out. When the cylinder is mounted in the car, it takes the full travel of the brake pedal for the same short stroke. Let's move on to a couple techniques that we didn't cover in the first video. Pressure bleeding is popular among professional technicians due to the speed of it and because there's no need for an assistant. The drawback is the equipment can be expensive. A pressure bleeder utilizes an adapter that attaches to the master cylinder, then forces fluid into and through the system. The main advantage to pressure bleeding is that it's quick but sometimes it's also necessary. This is especially true on some newer vehicles with anti-lock braking systems. Air can get trapped in the ABS valving, and in some situations, pressure bleeding is the only method that will work. The high pressure compresses the air bubbles to the point where they're carried through with the fluid instead of hanging up in a crevice while the fluid flows by. When working on newer vehicles, at some point your customers will need a pressure bleeder. A final advantage to pressure bleeding is this equipment stores a volume of fluid, so no worries about running out mid-process. A vacuum bleeder attaches at each bleeder screw and draws the fluid through the system. It's just another way of doing it with the advantage of speed when compared to manual bleeding. Vacuum bleeding also is one of the cleaner ways. The fluid is being drawn through the system directly into a container. One last tip. Some newer vehicles with ABS have the option to bleed the ABS modulator and valve assemblies with a scan tool. This uses the ABS pump to force fluid through the system. The advantage is getting air out of the modulator. This often is the quickest and most efficient way to do it, but it's not mandatory. Your customers can achieve the same results with a pressure bleeder. With the proper preparation and a little bit of patience, brake bleeding can be a routine job for your customers, whether they're professionals or DIYers. A big thanks to Eric Garba for providing the content for this two-part video series. Thanks for watching.